Good evening. Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to our January Community Conversations with Kelowna Supernatural. I'm your host, Emily Baxter. And the last time we met, we talked all about eggnog. And sadly enough, eggnog season is over. But as you all know, the wait is so worth it. And we'll start producing again in October. So, you know, just about nine months to wait for, for first production. <laughs> So as we're joining in here, please comment below with where you're tuning in from. Um, I am in snowy, cold Iowa where there's snow on the ground and a lot of ice underneath that snow. But hopefully there's some of you joining in with somewhere warmer. So tonight we're going to focus on cottage cheese. And throughout the conversation, I want to know what your favorite way to enjoy cottage cheese is. So do you like it plain? Do you have a favorite ingredient that you like to mix in it? Um, do you use it to bake with? Please, please, please comment so that we can all get your ideas too. So what is cottage cheese? Well, cottage cheese is a fresh cheese as opposed to an aged cheese like Parmesan. And as the name suggests, cottage cheese was first made in the kitchens of country cottages using only the simplest ingredients like um, non-homogenized milk, cream, and cultures. So here at Kelowna Supernatural, we are very proud to follow this timeless tradition. So as a result, our cottage cheese has a distinctively pure texture and full cheese flavor. We use those natural ingredients non-homogenized milk from grass-fed cows. Our product is grade A, USDA certified organic, kosher certified, and made with Celtic sea salt. So how is cottage cheese made? Like I said, it's not like an, how, it's not an aged cheese. Um, it's a fresh cheese. So cottage cheese is made by adding an acid to pasteurized milk, which causes a separation of the milk solids from the whey. And this can be done by adding a bacterial culture that produces lactic acid or a food grade acid such as vinegar. So after the curd is formed, it's gently cut into pieces that allow additional whey to be drained from the curds. The curds are further cooked and pressed gently to expel more whey. I mean, the whole idea is to get those, those soft, creamy curds. So pushing out the whey way as in w-h-e-y way the curds are rinsed and cream and sea salt are added to the top to create a rich creamy product to enjoy so what makes Kelowna supernatural cottage cheese different um, it has that creamy texture with the soft cheese curds because we use milk from grass-fed cows the flavor and texture may vary slightly depending on when the milk was processed Grass-fed cows produce more protein in their milk in the fall and winter months. Kelowna Supernatural also uses small batches, which allows for more attention to detail. So this means that instead of our milk coming from 50 different farms, it may come from five different farms. So it really helps the, the milk maintain the natural flavor and it highlights the individual flavor of the farm location and atmosphere. All right, so this is the bulk of why we're here. Why is cottage cheese good for you? Um, I am going to bring on our special guest, our expert tonight, Elise Kloffenstein, who is a registered dietitian. She's going to tell us all about the nutritional science behind cottage cheese. And I want to encourage you all to comment and ask questions to Elise because she's our she's our expert for tonight. So we're really gonna we're gonna quiz her. We're gonna get some good questions answered. Hi, Elise. Hi, Emily. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Um, I want to start with just, just hopefully a simple question here. What are the nutrients that we can find in Kelowna Supernatural Cottage Cheese? Yes, I think you're kind of looking for what can I get the most out of this? And the number one thing would be cottage cheese is a great source of protein for us. I want to put this in perspective, though. We talk about the quality of protein, but when we're talking about that half cup serving of cottage cheese, we're saying that it has somewhere between 13 to 14 grams of protein in the two products that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. so specifically in that full fat cottage cheese, that represents more than 50% of the calories are coming from protein. 
Okay. So then similarly, you look at the low fat version, that means 65% of the calories that you're consuming are coming from the protein source. So we're not talking just a little bit of protein here. We're really doubling down. Mm -hmm. So that half a cup of cottage cheese is the equivalent of more than two scrambled eggs. Okay, good. I was just going to ask you, give me some comparison to that. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that gives us the quality of more than two scrambled eggs in a half cup portion. So we're, okay. we're not going to out of the park here. Yeah. Yep. Well, cause I always think you always think, okay, high protein breakfast. I got to have an egg because mm -hmm. that's, that's the high protein, but substituting, you know, having a half a cup of cottage cheese is, would be the same protein as what you're saying as two eggs. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. More there. Mm -hmm. The great thing about it is we're not just talking just the protein now, because we're talking about a rich source of some of those B vitamins. And you mentioned riboflavin when we were talking. Right. So right. the B vitamins are those energy producing vitamins. They're the ones that give us the brain function that we need. They also help with our cell metabolism. So at the very minuscule layers of our cellular development, they help us fight off infections and they just improve our mood. So those B vitamins are a combination of lots of different things that we need. Yeah, then it goes right into that calcium benefit. We know that milk gives us that calcium source that we need, but remember calcium is not only just, we're talking about building bone health, we're talking your heart again, we're talking metabolism. And we'll go even deeper to say that it also helps with that nerves. Nice. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so then, um, how, how can cottage cheese be used to help with, or can it be used to help with weight loss? Okay. So this perfect combination is this high protein ratio that's combined with a good calcium source. So what the studies are really linking here is they're looking to help to help us feel full because of that high protein source helps us with the metabolism of fat. So no, no longer are we just breaking down all of our nutrients. We're finding that calcium is triggering our metabolism to know, okay, if I'm going to work on cutting back on my calories, but I'm getting sufficient amount of calcium, it protects your lean muscle mass. So then you don't start losing. That's the hard thing when we talk about cutting calories. People just want to cut everything back to help with weight loss. Mm -hmm. But the body goes, wait a minute. You're not giving me what I need anymore. And so then your metabolism starts to really slow down. So the same amount of calories that you were consuming to try to cut weight, now your body is saying, well, that's now more than what I need because that's all you were going to give me. Mm -hmm. So they were really looking at this, that Journal of Nutrition, uh, this was in September of 2011, specifically looking at women to help preserve that lean muscle mass when they used cottage cheese because of that combination of protein and the calcium there. And then they even went any further to look in the, the study with our lipids to try to find out. So our lipids are our fats. So what kind of fat is circulating in our body? Not just the fat we consume, but what is our body holding on to? And as we were working on those calorie combinations, it accelerated the weight loss in this lean muscle mass. Mm -hmm. So helping us to lose that weight even faster. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Interesting. I, okay. It tastes good, but I had no idea of all this extra benefit to me. Wow. So if you're just joining us, um, I'm Emily Baxter with Kelowna Supernatural, and I'm joined by Elise Kloffenstein, registered dietitian, talking all about cottage cheese tonight. So I know all about the good flavor Kelowna Supernatural has, but Elise is our expert who is really giving us the background, the nutritional science behind this creamy, cottage cheese that we love. Okay. So let's go on to, um, what, what are the benefits of cottage cheese across the lifespan? Right. Yeah. So we talked about those B vitamins, the calcium, but there's also rich sources of phosphorus. So that helps work with those B vitamins to help you absorb those. The phosphorus is also those bones. So when we're talking about development of bones at an early stage, even is as early as preconception, making sure that you have that rich source of phosphorus to help those bones develop um, in, 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 in the womb, and then incorporating that early on. Phosphorus also helps with your muscles and their contractions. 
Mm. So as you're starting to be that active young person and you're working out and exercising, you need those nutrients to help you perform the functions of trying to be the best athlete that you could be. Also trying to figure out how do I just recover from some of that too. So we're working to try to figure out how do I protect my body and the selenium that's a rich source also in cottage cheese is what helps with that antioxidant response. So protecting your blood from that breakdown that happens and putting it back in a, a good balance. So along those lines, would this, I always hear of um, bodybuilders or um, athletes that are a really intense program recovering with um, chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. Is this, how would cottage cheese, oh look, we've got one right there. <laughs> How would cottage cheese do with that, um, like you said, recovery? Absolutely. So the big thing is they're looking at, in particular, that performance athlete or those people that work their body really hard throughout the day, trying to consume that rich protein source in the evening so that then their body switches to try to store all of their lean muscle mass because they need to figure out how to tell it to give it what it needs to break down the muscles during your workout, but then rebuild them back up. So specifically looking at preserving that metabolism over our sleep cycle, they were really looking at how do we do that by consuming, and it was in 30 grams. So if we talked about our half a cup had about that 14 to 15, you consume a full cup. So the study was actually the um, British Journal of Nutrition in 2018, and they consumed 30 grams of cottage cheese, 30 grams of protein, sorry, in cottage cheese. So that'd be the full cup. And they consumed it about 30 minutes to 60 minutes before going to bed and found out that it really preserved that muscle mass and helped them wake up more rested and having less breakdown of their body. And the third component is this measurement of your resting energy expenditure. So how quickly do I burn calories at rest? And it preserved that as well. So keeping that level high so that while you were doing your activities, you could also benefit from overall weight loss without mm -hmm. without losing that muscle mass. So for those of us that um, <clears throat> aren't like this fella here, uh, performance athlete, um, is cottage cheese beneficial to have as a bedtime snack then? Right, right. So you're going to preserve that metabolism, not start slowing or, or getting that kind of a lag in your metabolism by having that rich source of calcium and protein, B vitamin, selenium, phosphorus, all there together. They also want to say too, that as we age, you know, we start to not keep the calcium that we consume anymore. So we have to get it in to preserve our bones. And even further, um, some of my work now in long-term care um, women in particular are losing their muscle mass as we age. Mm. And, and that makes us an increased risk for skin breakdown because we don't have that layer in between the skin and our bones. Mm. And also we don't have the strength to do what we need to do. So preserving that is key when you're talking about a good quality piece of protein. And in particular, cottage cheese is 80% casein. So we talk about casein and whey. We may talk about that a little bit more in the process of cottage cheese, but 80% of it is in a casein form and that's really slow absorption. So it prevents that muscle breakdown because it helps stick with you longer mm -hmm. rather than a big boost and then it's gone in two hours. Right, okay, great. Thank you for adding that about um, the elderly too, like how this can be beneficial, like you said, all the way um, to before the baby, you know, in utero, um, mm -hmm. all the way on up. That's great to know. Please, um, feel free to comment below with any questions that you have for our expert tonight for Elise, um, about cottage cheese, the different, um, nutrients that it includes for us. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about nutrients before I go on to how we can enjoy cottage cheese? Was there any questions over there specific to the different nutrients that you, that came up? I have not seen any yet in our comments. So please let us know what you want to know. We want to hit the right things from, from our community here to see what you want to know. Lots of, um, we've got some comments um, about how people enjoy cottage cheese. So Colleen says, I usually eat cottage cheese with fruit for breakfast. So you can point out the protein in that then, Elise, that she's getting her, her fruit Fruit would be a carb. Yes. It was some carb in there. Yeah. So she's getting her protein and carb. That's how I always knew, you know, you're supposed to match the two, right? 
Mm -hmm. not just one or just the other. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's go on to talk about um, how to incorporate it. Like Colleen said, she likes to eat it with fruit. Um, because of because cottage cheese is this light, um, fresh character cottage cheese, it's often eaten in salads with fresh fruits, um, with vegetables, as a healthy, convenient, high protein snack. Um, but cottage cheese can be used to replace things as well in place of cream cheese, ricotta, um, in dips and casseroles and pancakes and desserts, all kinds of things. Um, but I wanted to know from a nutrition standpoint, Elise, how can cottage cheese be used to replace um, maybe foods that are less, less nutrient rich foods? Does that right. question make sense? Yes, absolutely. So we're looking for, because we know that it's a rich source of our protein and our B vitamins, how can we substitute it, particularly a different calcium source? So how can we put it in? And I think the easiest thing to think about is something that you already use a dairy for, could you just use cottage cheese in its place? But start at the top, thinking of breakfast again. You touched on absolutely having cottage cheese and fruit as a breakfast. But don't be afraid to even incorporate it into the batters of like your pancakes mm -hmm. or your waffles and use that as a complete substitution for the milk. So if it calls for a half a cup of milk, just use the cottage cheese in that recipe mm -hmm. to modify that. And then you're going to boost the protein and you're going to make sure you still get your calcium source, but you're also banging on, on those that phosphorus, the B vitamins and the selenium. Yep. So if you're you putting can... it into a batter, do you need to do anything differently with it because of the curds? I mean, it seems like it'd be different consistency than milk. So the great thing about a pancake batter is it starts, it naturally starts to get airy. You know, that's the steam process. So you're going to get that kind of bubbly feel that would normally be there. And you have to decide if when you eat it that way, if, if it still bothers you to have a little bit of that texture, because mm -hmm. you could always take cottage cheese and blend it and make it a little bit more of a creamy source. Okay. Keep that in mind as you're thinking of other creamy things. So thinking of sandwiches. You know, if you're talking about where you normally would use a Miracle Whip or mm -hmm. mayo, you could use a creamed cottage cheese in its place, too, and add your herbs and seasonings to just bring in some flavor there. Oh, that's, that sounds delicious. I haven't tried that. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I was thinking of one um, breakfast option that my father-in-law actually brought this one was when he makes smoothies, you know, fruit smoothies. When he adds cottage cheese in, it gives it... He says it gives it like a cheesecake flavor. And I thought mm -hmm. there's no way it's cottage cheese. Like it doesn't taste anything. Tried it out. It does. You add the cottage, add some cottage cheese into your fruit smoothie. Mm -hmm. It really gives it that like, oh, it gives it that cream cheese, um, cheesecake flavor. Really cool. Yep. So when I talk about smoothies, we usually talk about 50% of it fruit, 50% of it the dairy. So if you're going one cup, one cup. So you would just say, Half of that milk would be a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of cottage cheese and throw that right in the smoothie. And that's still going to make you enough servings for your family for breakfast. So, yeah. yeah. The other thing that I think we forget is cottage cheese can be even a replacement for your yogurt. So if you're thinking about yogurt parfaits, change that and make it a cottage cheese parfait. So you've got the fruit, but don't be afraid to put the granola in there, something crunchy to bring in that texture too. Sliced mm -hmm. almonds would be another addition. Drizzle a little bit of honey over top, and now all of a sudden you've got a beautiful parfait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that in the summertime, I love, um, com um, excuse me, tomatoes on my cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I really haven't experimented much with, fruit, you know, thinking it more of a, um, making it more of a sweet thing and not a salty thing. Yep. So that's really interesting. Yep. You can go either way with, that's the great thing about cottage cheese. It's such a neutral flavor that it can go both to the sweet and to the savory. I mean, think about how you would use it in lasagna. Boy, all of a sudden it brings oh, yeah. a lot of richness to a very savory dish. Right. And then you can switch around and make that with your fruit and make it sweet. It's funny. People tend to lean one way or the other with cottage cheese, you know, mm -hmm. either the tomato or the fruit. So you have to decide which one is your preference and then challenge yourself to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cindy says um, she likes her cottage cheese with pineapple. And I've heard mm -hmm. that one before, too. I need to try it. I, I think I've been afraid because I'm more on the salty side, you know, like tomato. And I mean, I know tomatoes are fruit, but tomato with salt. <laughs> 
Um, and let's see, Patty says, Grandpa always loved fresh peaches and cottage cheese. So there's another sweet thing to put with the cottage cheese. Yeah, that would really, if you think of it that way, if you think of like, you know, a peach pie with dairy whipped cream on top, it's that, it's that creamy fruit together. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. So the other thing would be take it one step completely further, take that whole container of cottage cheese and you could turn that into a dip. So think of it like a sour cream container, um, add in, even if you have a pre-made mix, uh, you know, like a ranch seasoning packet, you could easily incorporate that into the cottage cheese and then you scoop it out with your celery or carrots. Um, at our house just tonight, we bought those carrots that have the grooves cut in them. So they hold on to things a little bit better, mm -hmm. but cucumber slices, radishes. Um, I'm thinking of there's some big games coming up here next month. Why not make a ranch dip cottage cheese? And again, you're going to cut back on a lot of that extra fat that's coming from a sour cream base and you're going to really up the protein. So it's going to help you be more satisfied and more filling. Mm -hmm. So there's a good question for you. How good is it for kids? Oh, I don't know <laughs> where to stop. Um, the great thing is there are lots of different dairy sources out there. So when we talk about our kids, we just need to keep offering them dairy in lots of different forms. So whether they love the cottage cheese as an after school snack, um, and then you keep maybe your yogurts for your breakfast and your milk at lunch. We're, we are looking for kids in particular need three servings of dairy a day. And that could be equivalent to one ounce of cheese or that half a cup of cottage cheese and mixing okay. it up. Don't get stuck in a rut because, you know, kids will love something for about two weeks. And then you, that's when you stock up on it. And then all of a sudden they switch and want something different. So being exactly. flexible with your dairy sources. Yep. Yeah. And Cindy has a comment. She says, <laughs> she says, don't, don't get on her too much about this, but she likes pepper on her cottage cheese. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> I would say that is definitely how I prefer my cottage cheese too. Mm -hmm. Or I've been known to put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on the top of it just to kick it up a little bit. Ooh. Okay. That sounds good too. Oh, yum. We, um, let's see, we had spaghetti the other night, last night, and um, we used spaghetti squash and angel hair noodles, you know, to mix it up, mix it in a little bit for the kids. And then of course we had our red meat sauce, but then we top, when we make that recipe, we top it with cottage cheese instead of Parmesan or um, mozzarella. And I just feel like it gives it a good, I love the texture that it gives, you know, it's got the, the squash, the noodles, the meat, the red sauce, and then cottage cheese on top. Ooh, yeah. delicious. Patty says she likes it with chives. So cottage cheese with some green chives on there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and Lisa commented, she says, I like to add everything but the bagel seasoning. Yes. Oh, that would be awesome. That stuff's good on anything. <laughs> so that'd be perfect. And this is awesome. So here we are at about 730 Central Time. And you guys are coming up with a lot of great bedtime snacks. So yeah. remember that bedtime snack that you can use and really boost your metabolism and protect your lean muscle mass. So all of those things would be great options, whether you want to go more the sweet or the salty. Right. And that thinking of the everything but the bagel seasoning, you know, if that's what you're craving is that um, those spices, instead of going for that bagel, um, which is, you know, high carb load before bedtime, putting it on your cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, whew, that sounds delicious. I wanted to point out though, um, that we do have, and see, I have, let me pull it up here. Um, so this is from my fridge and this is our, I'm going to say current label because this is what, um, most people are seeing in the stores right now. This is the full fat. Um, but we have new labels. So I don't know if Sam can put some of them. There we go. So it's very similar. So if you're looking for the full fat cottage cheese from Kelowna Supernatural, it still is that um, orange color, um, but just a little bit of difference. And you can see um, we just decided to highlight some things a little bit, a little more clear. Um, mm -hmm. So when you're looking for it, uh, the orange one is the full fat. And then where our low fat is going to still be that um I not lime green, but kind of a kind of a light grass green color, I'm gonna say. Um let's see, we've also got some comments here. Um, oh 
Addie says she's convinced she's going to go shopping tomorrow for some Kelowna Supernatural whole milk cottage cheese. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice, Patty. Is there anything else you want to add to how you how you would prepare your cottage cheese, Elise? Well, I am just excited. These great ideas that we're getting from people. I think that we need to just start a revolution here. Take pictures of how you're eating your cottage cheese and yes. use that. Can you guys use that somehow at Kelowna Supernatural? Totally. Anytime you post on social media, if you tag us at Cologne Supernatural um, on Facebook or Instagram, um, we would love to see how you're using Kelowna products, um, especially those that are in a recipe that we can um, that we can make for ourselves. But yeah, anytime you're using our products, we want to see it. So tag us at Kelowna Supernatural. Um, we do. Speaking of, we do have, I'm just pulling it up here on my phone. Um, we have an Instagram contest going on right now. And let's see if Sam's got the specifics pulled up here. Uh, it's a giveaway um, specifically for, there it is, specifically for Sprouts Farmer's Market. So Sprouts, um, in the Midwest, we're not familiar with Sprouts because we don't have them. Um, it's a lot of Southern states. Uh, I want to say, ooh, I'm going to mess it up. But a lot of like Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Texas. Um, but I know there was, oh, Sam says it's nationwide. <laughs> California, Oregon. So nationwide, but just not quite in the Midwest yet. But anyway, regardless. Sprouts, we're doing a giveaway specifically with Sprouts Market. Um, and basically you're winning. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It says, do you love to shop at Sprouts Farmer's Market? Do you love cottage cheese, milk, sour cream, whipping cream, butter cream, buttermilk, chocolate milk, yogurt, all the good stuff from Kelowna Supernatural. So on Instagram, you can follow Kelowna Supernatural on Instagram, tag two of your friends in the comments, and that enters you into a chance to win a month of Kelowna Supernatural free product coupons. So this is a huge deal. Um, I don't even know how many products I could eat in a month, but that, it, it, that's a huge deal. That's a lot of coupons. Um, so that that is going strong. I mean, right now it has 516 comments. So get onto Instagram and find us at Kelowna Supernatural and get on that um, giveaway so you can get your chance to win a month free of free Kelowna Supernatural. Good Good point. But yes, anytime you're eating any of our products, take a picture, snap a selfie. We'd love to see it. Okay. Now I'm just going to look through the comments real quick to see if there's anything we're missing because we'd love to hear from you if you have any more questions for our expert tonight. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go back through this and look at all the examples that people give. Um, so Cindy has a, has a question and we might have to bring Sam in for this. Um, her question is, how does this have to be on Instagram? Oh, there you go. Sam just helped us out. Sam is our behind the scenes guy, our marketing manager tonight producing for us. Um, and it can be on Facebook too. So if you go to our Kelowna Supernatural Facebook page, you'll see the post on there too. So yes, if you have Facebook, but not Instagram, find us on there and and follow along for the for the giveaway. Thank you for pointing that out, Cindy. Thanks for asking that question. All right, resident dietitian here, our Kelowna Supernatural favorite. What other anything else do you want to tell us before we sign off? I just want to make sure that we address that some people may have concerns about incorporating dairy into their diet. And it's always difficult to take yourself out of a comfort zone that you're in. You know, if you've already established your routines or your own bedtime snack, remember that cottage cheese isn't something you have to be afraid of. We listed a whole bunch of different ways that you could add it to your diet. And we also said that it is good from childhood through late adult. So don't be afraid to try a different way. Reach out to a friend that maybe is more confident with the uses of cottage cheese and try a new way that they enjoyed. Remember, your taste buds change. So if you have a memory of cottage cheese that reflects some um, <laughs> negative visual or um, maybe the way it used to be made, remember, um, 
Kelowna Supernatural had a great example of how they use it in their factory and it doesn't get sat out in the sun, for example, to curdle anymore. So try something new again, um, remembering that your taste buds from when you were a youth aren't the same now. Mm -hmm. And you may enjoy something that in the past you didn't used to enjoy. Excellent. Yes, very good point. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Elise. It's always great to have you on and have that expert in the room. Um, next month, February 6th uh, at 7 p.m., so another Sunday evening, we I'm going to be joined by Sticky Fingers Cooking, and February is Valentine's month, so we're focusing on chocolate milk, of course. Um, and we are going to make, let me get the name right. We're going to be joined by Chef Penny from Sticky Fingers Cooking right here on Facebook. And I'm going to bring my daughter Lucy along. So if you've joined us before, Lucy um, tends to join us for the cooking specials and she's, she's so fun. Um, so that's February 6th at 7 p.m. And we are going to learn how to make Valentine's Day mini mahogany cakes. And it uses Kelowna Supernatural chocolate milk and Kelowna Supernatural butter. So join us then. There'll be another um, post out to give you the link, link on Facebook for that. Oh, goodness. Cindy says everything. Everything we make is awesome, especially the chocolate milk. My kids could not agree more with you. Um, we have, some of you may know, we have um, our youngest, our three-year-old twins. And um, we had to actually go out to the store and buy like some chocolate syrup the other day because we didn't have our chocolate. We, we didn't have our Kelowna Supernatural chocolate milk and it was a desperate, the three-year-olds needed chocolate milk. It's not the same. It's just not the same. Kelowna Supernatural chocolate milk is so creamy and mm, just so delicious. So join us next month and we're going to talk more about how you can use chocolate milk in your cooking. I know that's, I don't know. Some people are going to say, I want to only drink it. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up, but oh. These mini mahogany cakes are going to be amazing. So thank you for joining us tonight. And we'll see you just in a couple weeks here, um, February 6th at 7 p.m. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>